guys, this is Wences. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back to my Enneagram series. This time we're talking about type 4. So if you have a 4 in your life or you're for yourself, you can completely agree with that. They're all about being themselves. They're all about not going with what society tells them. They're not about like really seeing what is considered beautiful or what is like the next big thing and what is popular. And it's so ingrained with them, they don't even feel it. They don't realize it. It's not like they go out and say, oh, I'm just completely being myself and I'm being so different than everybody else. They are so in their own world that that's not even a thing. They might think nobody connects with me or anything, but it's not like they think, oh, this is considered beautiful and I'm not beautiful because they live in their own beauty. What they get their purpose from in life is creating something that is first of beautiful, very, very deep and intense and being completely unique. So there's not even this thing of, I want it to be beautiful so thousands of people love it. I just want it to be real. I want it to be authentic, but I want it like to be just so deep that if you really are in my world, you're gonna feel it so intensely like nothing else. That's what fours are about. And at their best, it's just a blast to be with them. There's just so much beauty that comes from fours and they enrich your life by showing you, oh, look, like you can also live your life like this and you just wanna look at them and get excited about like how much they enjoy life. But at their worst, when they're not healthy, they're very self-absorbed. See, it's all about them. And it's not even like, what? You're so selfish, you only think about yourself. It's just like all they see. They're so in their own world and like what happens in their like own surroundings and creating beauty in that, that when they can't do that, it doesn't help them that there are people out there who think you're awesome. Like that might help another type and being more about like, you know, threes are more about like how people perceive me or twos may even get to a point where they're not healthy. Like how do other people perceive how I'm helping them? Fours on the other hand are so much about like, I wanna be an individual, I wanna create beauty in my life. So when they can't do that and they're feeling this pain within them, it's really hard to get out of it. You have four wing three, which is more about being aristocrats. There's this thing of, I wanna create beauty and I wanna like really achieve something with it. So fashion designers are often four wing three. There's this notion of, I wanna achieve, I also wanna get validation through that, what I can like really create in this world and how much impact I can make. So that comes out like this, like you wanna use your beauty and the way you perceive life in order to achieve something. You wanna be part of culture and you wanna create culture. On the other hand, four wing fives are called the bohemians. Those are the people that are really in their own world. They don't care so much about like other people seeing what they created and their beauty and everything, but they're more about making it even more precise, even more beautiful, even more like capable of how well they are. So, so if you're a four wing five, you wanna make sure that whatever you do, you do it well. I mean really well. You really wanna understand what you're talking about. You wanna make the best out of it. So let's say you start drawing with acrylic paint. Like you're not gonna be satisfied with something that's just okay. And then try to get some of that validation by being an achiever and showing it to people and it being like something that can impact other people. But you're being so hard on yourself because it has to be perfect. Your opinion is the one that matters most and the fact that you're capable of doing it. Type fours are part of the heart center, which means they cannot connect to their core self due to shame. And that shame is based on the fact that they feel they're not being as unique as they can be. They're not creating as much beauty as they could be. And so they're really, really afraid of facing the fact that, you know what, sometimes you are a normal human being. Sometimes you're not that unique. Sometimes you need what other people need as well, which is external validation. So they're so ashamed of this feeling because it's not what they want. You know, they want to create something beautiful, unique, and that gives them their life purpose. So when they can do that, this shame arises, which they really try to avoid. In order to avoid that shame, they disintegrate to a two, meaning they want to help people and they don't want to help people by like, I'm going to cook for you or I'm going to be a shoulder to cry on. Not that they don't do that, but it's more like I'm bringing beauty to your life. I'm bringing beauty to your world. And they really get to a point of like, just accept it. Just tell me, just show me how much I'm enriching your life. 
And they're doing that because they're so afraid of the shame that they're not special, that sometimes there's nothing unique about them. So it's this vicious circle and they try to hang on to people and really want to make sure that they create this beautiful experience for them, like a great picnic. And if that person doesn't even appreciate it because they can't see that, then it just gets worse. And the solution is, of course, to accept that shame, to realize, yes, you're beautifully unique. There's so much value you bring to life, but in some ways, you're just a normal human being like everybody else. And for fours at that moment, it feels like you're not unique at all. Like the thing is you're so unique and it's so beautiful, but all you see is that, you know, in some case you're just like everybody else. People don't care about what beauty you bring to your life and that you're okay with it. Like that shame that you're so scared of has to be felt, it has to be experienced, and then you can go through it. That you realize, oh, I'm not that perfect because I'm unique, and I have to find new ways in order to get my self-love and my validation. And they do that through integrating to a one. Like, it's so beautiful to see. I have a friend who's a four, and she has been doing a lot of things to integrate to a one. And once you know about morality, about doing things right, about being integer, and for her it comes out as being an environmentalist. That's just her thing. She's all about saving the environment, recycling, just talking to friends and making sure that they're living the best life possible in this way. And so she realized I'm not going to get my self validation and my self love and everything I want only through being different and only through like creating depth and beauty, but also through contributing to the world and having like those high moral standards and really sticking to them. You know, confidence comes from keeping the promises you make to yourself. And once you like really go into a field where you say, I want to contribute and I want to do something good. Like I have those high expectations of myself, but in a healthy way and I can like really make my life and the life of others better. And this too will give me validation. This too will make me feel that I'm doing something right in my life and my life has meaning. So once they integrate into once, it's really beautiful to look at because at the same time you have an artistic person who loves to do all those things just because it's fun and it makes their life richer. But at the same time, they're not dependent on it. There's also something else that gives them this great feeling and that is really having a cause, really creating something. Like it can also be that you have this cause of being a great friend or the cause that you eat healthy. Like having stuff like that that really makes sure, oh, I want to do something right and it makes me feel feel good to do it this way. So it's really beautiful to look at. So if you're four and you have been struggling, make sure to accept that sometimes you're just not that special. I mean, we from the outside probably think very often you're very special, but for you, it has to feel like I'm not special in order for you to really feel that shame. We have to feel that shame so we can connect to our core self, know who we are and then see, oh, okay, I love creating beauty, depth and all of that, but I'm also going to do something that will enrich not only my life, but the life of everybody around me by having some kind of moral standard for something that you believe in a cause and that will really enrich your life. So that's all I have for the four. I hope that helps you. And if you haven't done it already, you can download the poster. The link is in the description. There you find out what each type has to do in order to integrate. Thank you so much for watching and I talk to you next time. Bye.